Hello, good morning. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. And you? Good. What's your name? My name is Lindsay Gallen. Lindsay Gallen. Uh, my name is Giovanni. Nice to meet you. You too, Giovanni. What are you from, Lindsay? I'm from Canada, from Ontario, Canada. Wow, interesting. Uh, why are you in Costa Rica? That's a good question. Um, I guess my decision for coming here was. Um, well, to be honest, I kind of wanted a, a change in my life, mm -hmm. and I always wanted to experience living in another country, and teaching English was kind of a dream I've had, mm -hmm. and I came to Costa Rica with my family probably eight years ago, mm -hmm. and I fell in love, so I wanted to come back one day. Oh, great. Uh, how long have you been here? I've been here since January of this year, so almost one year. Great. What do you do here? I teach English. At How do you like it? I love my job. This is my first experience teaching English ever, and I am in love with it. I really, really like it. Oh, great. Great. Um, could you tell me a little bit about your family? My family. In Canada, I have well, my parents, of course. Uh, my family owns a business. So we've spent our lives working together, so we're, we're pretty close. I have a sister who's older than me and a brother who's younger. Uh, and what about, um, let's say, your family in Costa Rica? My family in Costa Rica? Um, well, I have a wonderful boyfriend who's become my best friend and, and my family. Is he Costa Rican? He's Costa Rican, yes. Also a teacher. Did you did you meet him here at the school? I did. <laughs> yes. Great. Yes. And his family has been more than wonderful to me, so they've become my my new family. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. What's your new hometown like? My new hometown. Well, recently I moved to Turialba, actually, where he's from, and I love it there. It's Great. quite a difference than from living in Sense but I really like it there. It's calm and quiet and it's kind of what I think I thought of when I when I thought about living in Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. So I'm really happy there. Oh, great. Um, we see, have, have there been any difficulties to adapt to this new culture? Yes. To be honest, I think I adapted quite easily. Um, because I was looking for a change in, in life and, and for some culture shock. Uh -huh. But there were a few things that, that I struggled with. Could you bit. refer to that briefly? I think living in San Jose for, for almost a year, I struggled with people always telling me to be careful and really feeling like when I'm walking alone or um, kind of near downtown I need to be careful with, with my belongings and, and be careful with you know, the decisions I make. So that was different for me. From living in Canada, I feel from where I live, pretty pretty safe. You mean so people in Canada wouldn't tell you to be careful with your things? No, really not often anyway. Were you, or have you ever been robbed in Costa Rica or anything like that? Yes, one time. It Could was fairly minor. I mean, I felt lucky actually. Uh -huh. when quite smoothly. <laughs> yeah, he took um, a bit of money from me and actually he was really nice and polite and oh, didn't really? have a weapon, so <laughs> yeah, it was of course an experience I'd rather not have, mm -hmm. but it happened. Um, would you like to say anything else about those difficulties besides, you know, uh, the thing of being careful with your things? And um, the one thing I think I noticed was very different yeah. was the, the driving and the traffic. What? Is How is that different? I noticed here traffic laws seem more like a suggestion. Whereas in Canada it's a law and, and people follow them. So I noticed that, that here. The first taxi driver that ran a, a red light, I felt a little confused. But I've gotten used to that quickly. <laughs> So we could say that uh, Costa Ricans should pay more attention to the rules. I think so. Mm -hmm. I'm sure if everyone followed the rules a little more, there'd be 
less stretch on the road and it would be easier for everyone, I'm sure. Good suggestion. <laughs> do you feel at home here? Absolutely. I really do. I, I tell people at home, all, well, at home in Canada, uh -huh. all the time that this is my home now. And actually after six months I went home to visit and within a week I was telling people how much I missed Costa Rica and how I wanted to go home. I mean this home. Interesting. Mm -hmm. What do you like the most about your new life? About my new life? I love the people I spend time with. Um, like I said, my boyfriend and his family have made me feel very much at home. What may what may uh, makes them different from, let's say, your friends in Canada? Um, I think the way that I've noticed Costa Rican people are they're very warm and and friendly and and always kind of want to take you under their wing and help, and that's really special. And they've done that for me. And. Especially speaking about my boyfriend, he has the best sense of humor ever, so he's just fun to be around always. Great. And what do you dislike about your new life? To be honest, yeah. I couldn't think of a thing. Great. I'm happier than ever. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, what do you miss? About Canada. About Canada, yes. Um, of course I miss my family. It, it was difficult at first to be away from them. Mm -hmm. My family and a couple of close friends in Canada. But other than that, I mean, this is my life and, and I, I'm happy here. So I can't think of many things, really. Okay, interesting. Well, I'm glad you like Costa Rica and thank you for your time. Thank you.